You can use throwable items or well placed shots to stun enemies. Oh my god! Killing blow. Or using them as a shield to protect yourself or buy some time to figure out your next move. Oh my god, dude! Brutal! Ellie isn't always alone on her journey. Allies will take part in helping you navigate the environments, spot enemies, and that was sweet. help you in combat encounters. That's that's amazing. I love that. Welcome, Johnny, and welcome to Sunday. If you guys do not know what Sunday is over this channel, Monday through Saturday we do a gameplay video, but on Sunday we'll have to kick back, relax, eat some snacks, and watch some freaking gameplay. Today, we got uh, Last of Us 2 gameplay that came out a few days ago. And I have yet to watch it, so I figured we'd just kind of kick back and watch this one together. Blood and gore, intense violence, nudity, sexual content, strong language, and use of drugs. If you don't like any of that stuff, you can probably not watch this, okay? But for me, I I'm all in. I wish things were different. Man, look at those graphics. I wish things were different. Ellie! But they ain't. Please stop! Sony Interact. This, this game... It's gonna be a freaking journey, so if you guys are excited for it, let me know, because we're doing a full Let's Play. Full playthrough, 100% completion, if we can, on June 19th, starting that day. Do this yeah. smart. Tries to kill on sight. So they just get to get away with this. How'd you find us? You can't stop this. Oof. 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 I want what you want, but not at any cost. God. have killed you. But you should you didn't. Maybe you should have. Ooh, that's how you do a freaking intro. Doing this already. Two minutes, 30 seconds. I'm Neil Druckmann. That's how we do it, baby. Vice of Naughty Dog and the director of The Last of Us Part Two. We're just a few weeks away from launch on June 19th, when the game will finally be in your hands. This guy sounds like P. Hines. The wait has been long, and we're extremely grateful for your patience. Kind of, not all the way, but kind of. Especially now, in the midst of these unprecedented and challenging times. We hope you're all taking care of yourselves, and that you, your friends, and your loved ones are doing well. This is going to be so because good. Because of these extraordinary circumstances, we can't be together in this final stretch and share the experience like we usually would. So today, we're trying something different. Something we've never done before. Okay, you have my attention. Over the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to give you an in-depth look into what awaits you in The Last of Us Part Two, including new details about the gameplay experience and story. And to cap it all off, we'll be showing a never before seen lengthy gameplay sequence. Okay. You'll definitely want to stick around for that. I don't know what happened. I'm intrigued. I was supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. They were actually going to make a cure. The only catch. It would kill her. Oh, really? The Last of Us Part Two picks up Ellie and Joel's story several years after the events of the first game. Ellie and Joel have settled in Jackson, Wyoming, amongst a thriving community of survivors. With the threats of the world kept outside the town's walls,
Jackson has been able to find relative peace and even stability. Ellie is now 19, lives on her own, and has been able to forge lasting relationships within the community. Scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate our kiss from last night? However, this peace is short-lived. Jackson and Ellie suffer a violent and traumatizing event. Ellie sets off back into the treacherous outside world in search of retribution and justice. I haven't played Last of Us 1 in so long. Her journey will take her to new parts of the country, previously unexplored in The Last of Us. The story spans multiple seasons and climates, from the snow-capped mountains of Jackson to the lush Pacific Northwest. Each introduces a wide range of exterior and interior environments for you to navigate and explore, rendered in meticulous detail and unprecedented scale with the latest iteration of the Naughty Dog engine. That's good. Our goal was to make these environments not only beautiful, but feel as grounded and authentic to the cities they're based on as possible. Much of the Man. story unfolds in what remains of Seattle, a massive former quarantine zone. Its locales are incredibly diverse, spanning a dense city center with a skyline of towering high rises to the beautiful suburbs and stormy waterfronts that surround it. I want to go ahead and let you know that I like post apocalyptic games and I like post apocalyptic games when they're like that. When it's, everything is overgrown, you got trees and all that stuff still. It's not like a fallout where it's all like broken down and, and uh, the nukes hit it. There's really nothing left. I like it when there's everything's left, but it's just so old and like everything's just kind of overgrown into like, you know, grass and, and moss. and Everything's kind of going into the houses. I like the way that that feels. It feels more realistic to me. So this game right here is already doing something that I already like. Which is the city exhibits bad. drastic shifts in architecture, elevation, and weather. Like that, and how it's trees and grass everywhere. I like that. that. Greater exploration and ways to navigate threats. Ellie is not only able to climb and jump over gaps, but she can use ropes to scale vertical terrain or swing over obstacles, allowing you to discover new areas, resources, and side narratives. Okay. These more open environments also create new strategic considerations in combat whether it's to get the jump on enemies or bypass them entirely. Right. The Last of Us Part Two features some of the largest environments we've ever created. Horseback riding will allow Ellie to quickly cover some of these expansive terrains. Some streets are so flooded that a boat is required to navigate. That's sweet. However, the world of The Last of Us is as lush and inviting as it is deadly. As Ellie uncovers the path to finding those who have wronged her, she must face the many threats of this unknown city. Oof. Oof. In the wake of the pandemic and the fall of the quarantine zone, Seattle has become a war zone, where two warring factions find themselves in an ongoing conflict for territory and resources. One of these groups is the Washington Liberation Front, otherwise known as the WLF. The WLF are a militia group that began as resistance to the military occupation of Seattle and eventually wrestled control of the city from them. They are highly trained, organized, and well-equipped with weapons they stole from the army. Right. They occupy much of the city, imprisoning or killing trespassers on site. Hey, we got another so there's going to be a lot of taking these guys down, it looks like. Ah! Oof. On the other side of this bloody conflict is a group of religious zealots called the Seraphites, or, or Scars, defined by the self-inflicted deep cuts that they bear across their faces. Like the WLF, they're deeply tribalistic and territorial. They're Deal known for being love. stealthy, using overgrowth as cover, and they use more Kinda silent like cult, weapons I like guess. bows and arrows. Oh my. Clip her wings. <laughs> Man. But beyond this conflict oh. among survivors, the threat that originally brought the world to its knees is very much present. Every Are human is in danger of falling victim infected. to the infected. Yeah. There are the recently infected runners who are more numerous runners. and aggressive in this game. The blind but extremely deadly clickers, 
and the stalkers who sneak and hide until they're ready to attack, Man. surprising their victims with extreme agility and brutal violence. The Last of Us Part Two introduces new stages of infected, such as the Shamblers, large, heavily armored enemies that are covered in pustules. Upon getting close to you, they expel a corrosive spore oh. cloud that burns its victims. Great. But our most terrifying and lethal new forms of infected will have to wait until you play the game for yourselves. That sounds like a, like a, some kind of like animal, like a dog type thing, maybe. Overcoming these threats will require careful consideration of how you approach every combat encounter and how you leverage Ellie's unique skills, equipment, and the environment to your advantage. Dog founder. The WLF patrol the streets of Seattle with guard dogs, which are capable of detecting and following you, even while in cover. You think this guy's connected to the they can pick up your scent and alert their handlers to your presence. Hey. Listen mode will reveal your scent trail, so keep moving and cause distractions to avoid detection. 25 years after the pandemic began, the world is completely overgrown. Use tall grass to hide from enemies and go prone to stay out of sight. Oh, I like that. However, this form of analog stealth means you're never fully hidden. If enemies get close enough, they can discover Oof. you, even in grass. Oh, when Ellie man. is overwhelmed, running away is a viable option. And you can also break class or crawl through tight spaces to find new paths or areas to evade or take on your enemies. Like that. In any given combat situation, you can flee an encounter and reestablish stealth to regain the advantage. Right. If you absolutely have to fight your way out, there are a variety of tools at your disposal. Ellie's more agile Oof. than most of her enemies. She can sprint and quickly dodge incoming attacks. Learning how opponents attack with different weapons and mastering the timing of your dodges Man. will prevent you from She's taking She's a freaking badass, dude. Great opportunities to counterattack. You can use throwable items or well-placed shots to stun enemies oh my for a dealing God. killing blow. Or using them as a shield to protect yourself or buy some time to figure out your next move. Oh my God, dude. Brutal. Ellie isn't always alone on her journey. Allies will take part in helping you navigate the environments, spot enemies, and that was sweet. help you in combat encounters. That's that's amazing. I love that. I like this already, man. This game's gonna be incredible. You already feel it. Between the human survivors and the roaming infected, there will be times where multiple threats are present, creating new strategic considerations and opportunities. You can choose whether to attack these opponents separately and directly, or find ways to pit them against each other. Flee as they fight, or wait until their numbers have thinned out and engage with whomever's left. Set them up for an ambush. Oh man. Frickin' yikes, bro. Our goal is to create unparalleled attention, coupled with deep systems that give you greater control and influence over your journey. Okay. As you play, you'll be able to invest in a broad collection of crafting items, weapon, and player upgrades. 100% aim stability. Training manual scattered throughout the environment and scavenging Full breath, for ingredients. skill locked. Skills locked, These okay. skills and upgrade manuals cater to a variety of play styles, and the choices you make will create your own distinct experience. I like that. They, they, they have this kind of agency and personalization to your weapons through our new. Now, this is all the same from uh, Last of Us One. Or parts from what I remember. To modify and improve your weapon's performance and attributes. We're probably better. All of which are visualized and become part of your character. What are they doing? Shopping cart? Is that what that guy had? No, it's a dog. Okay, Survival I was gonna say what? Also require using the parts and ingredients that you'll find in the environment, which can be crafted into a wide range of defensive and offensive items, like proximity mines, explosive arrows, pistol suppressors, and more. Gotcha. You can make silencers on the go. I like that. Okay. 
Take the guy in the back. There you go. Blew him up. All of these gameplay systems are meant to immerse you in the world and make you feel in lockstep with Ellie's emotional journey. God, this game is going to be so good. Now, I know a lot of the stuff has been leaked. I didn't watch anything, so don't before, let me know in the comments. This is I don't know. largest, most ambitious game. It may seem like we covered a lot, but we only scratched the surface of what it's like to play The Last of Us Part Two. They make a very immersive we game, so... We can't wait so. for you to experience it all for yourself on June 19th. Until then, here's an extended sequence of never-before-seen gameplay. All right, now I'm... Enjoy. Let's go. Look kind of pond. What they, what they do so well is very immersive. So even if things did get spilled for you, I hope you do pick the game up just because the, the, it's about the journey and how you get to the end, not at the end period. Because this game, what they do so well is storytelling that I think that even if you do know the ending or whatever that's got leaked, I think the, the gameplay itself will still be very, very intriguing for you. If you don't want to get it, you don't want to get it. I get it. So. God, just being wet like that. Ugh. God, this looks so incredible, though. Is that a bus? Is that a Jeep? Hey. Okay. Underneath, okay. I'd, I'd have to have goggles. <laughs> I can't go in water without opening without with 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 or while opening my eyes. I can't words. I have to have goggles. I got sensitive eyes, like very sensitive eyes. How do you not hear that? Oh, she's got things in earbuds. Don't make a fucking sound. Hands up. The PS Vita? You know a girl named Nora? Sure, yeah. What, what game is she playing? She... Sounds familiar. I've seen before. But they're clearing out the upper floors. She's somewhere in there. Fuck. God! Hotline, Hotline Miami or something? I like that. Okay. Brutal freaking takedowns, man. They really go really detail with that stuff, I which I like. It's great. Okay, there's two there. You shit me. They put you with Upstairs. Hey, we get the job done. That you do. Oh, well, this is not fair. I'm telling you, man. Data soldier. It makes these shifts so much easier. <laughs> sure. I'll keep that in mind. Silencer. I like how you can make silencer on the go. That's very uh, awesome. Only three shots, but it's great to know that you can do that. Hey. Did you hear about all getting called up? Oh, that was amazing. It sounds really good, too. The noises in this game. The gameplay so far is very very great. Uh, so far, everything I like. Not after what went down last time. Even Isaac isn't that crazy. That's what I heard. I can already tell when I play this game though in June. Um, I'm gonna be very quiet. There's not gonna be a lot of com. I'm gonna be a lot of commentary, but like, especially when you're trying to like sneak through stuff, I'm gonna have to be very, very focused. Focus right instead of you know being loud and freaking out and whatnot. Oof, got her before. How did they saw her go down? I'm guessing. Okay, go up top. Oh, what do you got? Molotov. All right, melee upgrade. So far, so good. The high ground, I like it. 
Okay, we got a dog and a person. I wonder how she uh, takes him out. Oh, she can burn that dog. Oh man. Listen, I'm, I'm not. I'm not into the whole killing puppies and stuff in games, but I mean, or in general, puppies in general, dogs, cats, animals. But if it's life and death, you can't. You can't die. You can't die. Okay, you can't die. Got to do what you got to do out here in these streets. Take him out. Pop. Okay. Freaking sneaky McSneakerson. Jeez. Sneak on a hundred right now from Skyrim. Boop. <laughs> I love it so far, man. I love it. Okay, our thing just broke. I just saw it. I also see it from the, the the right side too. Who would think they'd hear that though? Ooh, fry this head. I'll go check it out. I got you covered. Holy shit! My God. There more? Nope. Oh my god. So brutal. I love it. Uh oh. Ah. Freaking it batters up, bitch. Okay, here we go. You got two shots, my guy. Boom. Okay. Make it count. Make it count. Bomb. Oh. Another person. Okay. All right. Yeah, I want to kill them all so I can go loot their bodies. Damn it! Find another way off. Right now she's only got five shots in the pistol. She took uh, she had two shots in the rifle, but she took those two guys out. So now all she's got the pistol from what I saw, and maybe some arrows. Hopefully, we sh hopefully she can find some uh, ammo up here. Dude, the environment is just so good. It's so detailed. I love it. You, Nora? Sneaking through these things, man. Vince. Ventilation system. I'm not stupid. You're gonna tell us where she went. When Isaac talks to us about this, I'm getting tired of this. Nora. Nora! I'm not going down for her, man. Okay. So far, so good. There's stuff right there to the right. Take the tape. Take, 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 the, take the tape, dude. What are you doing? Don't scream. Put that shit down. You remember me? <laughs> the last of us part two all right guys well let's see what we got left i guess i'll like about 20 more seconds 6 19 20 all right guys that was the 23 minute last of us part two gameplay uh that they showcased and so far i am very intrigued and i'm excited for this game that's coming out um i'm doing 100 let's play this game so if you guys are 
wanting someone to watch or if you like my commentary here i do pretty much all that in games as well um so if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys do the youtube thing like comment subscribe and show your friends as always guys i'm is johnny and i'll be seeing you guys very soon probably tomorrow for another let's play of mafia 2 or modern warfare 2 or man eater or whatever we can get our hands on so see you guys soon